Hi everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs for the Blitzy Creative Team today and I want to show you guys five ways to jump start your art journaling pages. These are five quick and easy ways to start building your backgrounds. Get rid of the blank page fear um, when you open up your journal or you're looking at a canvas and you see that bright white empty space looking back at you. I know sometimes that can frighten me right in my spot and I don't even know where to begin. So that's what I wanted to show you today and give you some five quick tips. I am using the Dina Wakely media boards today to show you these. So um, you can use these in a journal though. I just wanted to have sheets that I could easily go from one technique to the next with you guys today. Um, but all of these can transfer to any type of art journal that you're working in or canvases that you want to work on and start building your background. So let's get started with the first one. Um, well, actually, I'm going to show you one more tip before we get started. This is matte gel, and you can use any type of gel medium. What I'm going to do is I'm going to coat the back of my paper pages um, of my art boards with this matte gel and this is a tip that I just learned recently and you can use it on your journals put this on first on your back on the back side of the pages and it's going to help with all of that warping that sometimes happens when you're adding all of that liquid medium on top so an awesome tip so I just wanted to show you guys that first so now let's get started with our first quick and easy background. I'm going to um, gesso all of my pages with Liquitex gesso. You can use any type of gesso. This is just what I kind of prefer because I love that pour top. I can just pour my gesso on my pages and brush that on and it's just so easy to work with. Um, so I'm going to do that and this is just kind of like my prep work. So I add the gel medium on the back and then I gesso the front. Now my pages are ready to take whatever mediums I'm going to put on top. So the first thing I'm going to do with this uh, page is I'm going to grab some tags. You can use any tags. You can use shipping tags. You can use these cute little scrapbook tags that I have in my stash. I love the text. I am all about text paper and um, just love it. And I love the numbers on these shipping tags. So I'm sure you guys have tags. You can even use clothing tags. Any tags you have lying around will work. And all you're going to do is um, kind of arrange them on your page. doesn't have to be any rhyme or reason. I just kind of like to have the flow down across my page. So I'm going to make sure I have bits and pieces of it on the top and the bottom and I'm going to take out that same matte gel medium and I am going to put a coat on my canvas or on my paper and then I'm going to put a coat on the back of my tags and then I'm going to adhere it down and put another light coat on top. This just makes sure that those tags are on there they're not going anywhere and you can see I left the um, little uh, top on it the little hanging tag thing um, because it's texture and I love to have kind of a background starting with a little bit of dimension and texture because when you add um, whatever you're gonna do on top this just gives it some more um, areas to kind of settle and some nooks and crannies that they can um, fall in. I already have some ideas on how I would build up on these backgrounds which we're going to do in a later uh, video but I just wanted to start with these very simple backgrounds to get rid of that blank page and here this is so simple I've got some tags on there uh, with gel medium I'm going to let them dry and then these are ready to go. I can start building um, some more layers on top. So let's get started on the second quick and easy art journal background um, jumpstart. Uh, so here I'm using some washi tape <clears throat> as well as some just regular, um, <clears throat> I think this is drywall tape. You can get it at any um, hardware store and um, this is just kind of one of those things that's in my mixed media stash because again I love the circles I love the texture so I'm putting matte medium down even though 
we have um, these, both of these things that we're using are sticky back, like there's this washi tape, so it's going to stick down. It's drywall tape, so it has um, sticky back to it as well. But I want to make sure that it's not going to move. I want to make sure that it's not going to lift up when I put my paint and layers on top. So I put down my gel medium, and then I just push it down into it. And you can see I don't put any gel medium on the back of these because they already have some adhesive on it. And I'm just placing them randomly on my page. But like I said before, you really want to think about like the flow of the um, ephemera that you're using to build these backgrounds. And you want to make sure that it flows from the top to the bottom across your page. So you'll see I have some of the washi tape on the left side, then a little bit down further I have some of it on the right, and then it kind of cascades back and forth. So it just draws your eye down. It's very pleasing. I add some gel medium on top and that page is done. You have a background that is ready for to add paints, mists, whatever you want. Um, it's got some texture. It's just not the blank page anymore. So here we go with our third one. Now I'm going to dip into my scrapbook, um, or actually I like the 6x6 papers. I'm a card maker um, originally, so I have tons of these in my stash. I'm sure you guys do too. Um, and it's a great uh, way to build another background. And this one, you can see the first two, we weren't really building color. It was just building texture and layers. This one, I'm bringing in some color because the scrapbook paper has always these really beautiful colors and prints and I love using these because um, it's going to I'm going to take my paints and match them to those colors when I start to build layers on top so this is kind of giving me a starting point not only for a background and getting rid of that blank page but also so that I don't have to think so much about what colors are going to go together and what do I want to do I just pick out some pretty papers and then I'm all set and I have a color story in mind and a place to build off on that. So um, a lot of times I will just rip the pages into strips and add them that way, but I thought it would be fun to die cut and use some of those die cuts we all have in our stash to do some circles. And you could do this with um, all kinds of shapes that you have. Um, any of your nesting dies would work. Um, any of your shape dies, like hearts or hectagons, would be super cute. Um, but I love circles right now. I'm kind of drawn to them, and so I knew I wanted to build a, a, a journal page around circles, so I thought this would be really fun um, to bring these papers in and get that started. So I'm just, again, using my matte gel medium, and I'm using, a I think it's Liquitex, um, I think it is Liquitex gel medium, and uh, I put it on my paper and then I put it on the back of um, the scrapbook paper and then I adhere it and also put a light coat on top just to make sure that it's completely sealed. You kind of want to push it down with your fingers a little bit make sure you get rid of any air bubbles and um, I'm going to put this last little one. I love the little bike. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, so that's it. So now this, once this gel medium is dry, it's another fun background that's ready to go. You can take it out and it's no longer that big scary white page staring at you. Um, it's just already there. You can just build on top of it. So I love creating these fast backgrounds because one, just getting started is all that matters. So this one got a little bit over overspray of the next technique that I'm going to show you. Um, so here's the the fourth one. Are we on the fourth one? I think we are. So I'm pulling out this super cute stencil. Uh, this is a new company to me. I don't know the name of it, but all of the supplies will be listed in the Blitzy blog. I'm pulling out these awesome deco art media mists. Oh my goodness, they are acrylic based. So you can add layers on top 
and they're not going to move like some of your other mists that are water based. Um, so these are gorgeous and you can spritz water on them too and get them moving. That's another thing you can do. But oh my gosh, look at that background. It's so fast and easy. It's beautiful. Um, and we can add some stamping layers on top which we'll do in another video coming up. So be sure to watch for that. So here's our fifth one. This is one of my favorite ways to just build um, a background. I'm pulling out some of my Dina Wakely media paints and I sprayed my paper with some water. I want it to have um, a little bit of a wet surface as I put these acrylic paints on. It's going to give it a unique um, texture because it's going to kind of move like watercolors but we're still going to have some thick areas of acrylic of the heavy body and it just adds such a beautiful um, transition of texture with the beautiful colors and the paints. Um, I love these colors together but I felt like it needed a pop of a cool color so I'm going to bring in some turquoise and I'm just going to put some on my fingers and I'm going to swipe it um, a couple times on the canvas and just let it go. It's just going to move where it wants to go and that's it. So that's one of the reasons that I love building um, a lot of background pages and these are some of my go-to techniques for when I sit down to create in my art journal um, because um, Pablo Picasso said it best inspiration exists but it has to find you working so you can't be intimidated by that blank page you just have to get started and these are five ways that are going to get you started quickly and I guarantee once you create them, you're going to um, have ideas to go ahead and finish them. So they're not going to lay around just like this forever, but um, you'll be inspired to keep going and finish them and create some beautiful pages in your art journals. I hope that encourages you today to um, break out of that fear of the white page in your art journals. And um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And for more ideas and inspiration, be sure to visit the Blitzy blog and our Facebook page. Until next time, happy crafting.